Canada has instituted a policy whereby uh, medal winners earn some uh, revenue. I believe someone earning gold at the Olympics will earn $20,000, someone earning silver $15,000, and someone earning bronze $10,000. So there's a monetary value right there, which wasn't in place a few years ago. For sure, uh, for two weeks, we will have uh, the uh, eyes and the ears of the world upon us in Vancouver looking at us. And, and you can't buy that kind of publicity. You know, Every te television station will be mentioning Vancouver and, and you just can't buy that publicity. So that's a, a positive spin-off effect of having the Olympic Games. Now you have to weigh that against the cost of the infrastructure that's been put in place to build uh, the sporting venues uh, for security. Security went up, I believe, to over a billion dollars. Now will the Games generate enough revenue to offset your costs, which is the ultimate goal? The jury is still out on that. The Games are a chance to showcase Vancouver, the city, our country. Actually, people in Vancouver have been told or instructed on how to smile and how to greet the public. Will it have a long-lasting effect? Um, again, the studies are inconclusive. There will be a, a short honeymoon effect, uh, but then that's you know, often forgotten when the next Games come around. The key becomes the infrastructure, the... Uh, the uh, the venue for the skiing, for the skating, for the archery, for the biathlon, will they be used in the years to come? Maybe we'll be looking at a white elephant, like the big Olympic stadium that we have here in Montreal.